If we ever have a biking hall of fame containing names of famous motorcycles, then what would we put in it? Well, we'd probably put the Fireblade in it, wouldn't we? We'll always remember that name, the Blade, even if they never make another one. As far as Yamaha goes, then it would probably be their top sports bike, the R1. What then about Suzuki? Well, perhaps the GSX-Rs, the 600, the 750, and their current bike, the GSX-R1000. On then to Kawasaki. Well, if you think back to the 70s, it'd be something like the old Z650s, 900s, and the big Z-Thou. But much more recently, it would be one of these, a Ninja. Make no mistake, this is one very, very fast motorcycle. Kawasaki have worked their socks off in trying to make the ZX9R a worthy contender in the world of super sports bikes. Back in 1998, it had a complete overhaul when it was given not just a new chassis and suspension, but a completely new engine with bigger valves to help it develop more power. The wheelbase was also shortened slightly to help sharpen up the handling. And the updates have continued ever since with further tweaks to the engine and the frame. And it now sports a smart looking titanium silencer, replacing the old black end can, which apart from looking rather nasty, weighed an absolute ton. It really is a top sports bike, and I love it to bits. Now, the name Ninja first appeared, actually, in 1994, and it appeared on a ZX9R, which this is, as I'm sure you've realised. A year later, they stuck it on their ZX6R, and then a year later again, in 96, they actually introduced a ZX7RR, again, carrying the name Ninja. But it was the ZX9 which was the original. This, as I'm sure you know, is not a 1994 bike. This is actually a year 2001 bike which makes an E1 model ZX9. But it's changed massively over the years. As we'd expect, the weight has gone down. The original one weighed in at 215 kilos. This thing tips the scales now, would you believe, at 183, which is only a touch heavier than their own 600cc Ninja. But while the weight's gone down, of course, the power has gone up. And this thing now claims 144 brake horsepower. Oh yes, please. The truth is that when it comes to performance, the ZX9R is spot on, and it's capable of giving any top sports bike a run for its money. Handling wise, it's probably fair to say that it's not quite as sharp as things like the GSX-R or an R1, but hey, who cares? This Ninja still has abilities way beyond the reach of 99% of the people who will ever own one. And talking of ownership, you'd be wise to try and find one that's not been thrashed too hard and hasn't spent most of its life on the back wheel. One like this, which is a 2001 bike with 6,800 miles under its belt and is in absolutely pristine condition, would sell in a showroom today for perhaps a touch over £5,000. As I've said, this engine has done less than 7,000 miles, so it's not really done any work. There shouldn't be too much wrong with that. But I can tell you that some high mileage ZX9Rs sometimes suffer from what sounds like the big ends going. It's not. They sound like a box of nuts and bolts. It's not. Very often it's the cam chain tensioner that's gone. The spring goes weak and that's what it is. It sounds awful but it's not that bad. So if you've got a noisy one, it's worth having that checked out. It will cost you about 70 quid for a new one. Might not be the end of the world. When you're looking at a used bike, you need to look for signs that it has had a careful owner. And there are one or two signs on this. Down on the swing arm there, the brace across the swing arm has got some sticky back clear film on it. Now the owner has put, up, put that on to protect it from stone chips because the stones get picked up by the treads and they get flicked off as it's back on the way down and he's put that on to protect it so quite thoughtful and then he's gone one better and put a colour matched rear hugger on to protect it completely and it looks nice as well. He's done the same down at the front on the bottom of the phone as well. So this is a one owner bike but all the signs would be that it's had one very very careful owner and that's my kind of used bike.